Professor Williams? Can you say the question again? Because are you saying that no well, cussing, or are you, are you saying right, Larry kind of talked about cussing as far as <laughs> in particular, right or wrong? Right. Do you feel that it has? Is it right or wrong with, you know, well, with the demographic that's buying the CDs? There are you buying these CDs. Let's, let's go, let's take it, let's take a, let's look at it from a legal perspective. You got your First Amendment right, freedom of speech, you know, and you had the Luke Skywalker case with obscenity of music, you know, is it lewd, uh, you know, do you have obscenity? You know, that's that's the true uh, standard, so to speak. So, you know, that's the law. That's what we have to go by, uh, the law. And, you know, if uh, two live crew beat the, beat the Supreme Court, then, you know, that's what's in place right now. But uh, me personally, you know, I would like for artists to have a, a somewhat of a social responsibility to kind of do the right thing. Uh, but that's me personally. I would like for them to do the right thing and be conscious of their message because you don't have to cuss to get your point across. And quite frankly, I signed a deal with uh, Sony Epic Records, my first deal coming out of law school when I signed Youngster and, and uh, throw young players to sign them to my record label. They would talk about some street stuff, but it was, it was very ironic that they didn't curse. They just felt like they were so fly. And they, all of them had, you know, probably been in trouble or, you know, and, and, and it was, everybody had gold teeth. I mean, just the, st the stereotype that you would see every day, but they were too fly to curse. And so when I went to Sony, that was the main reason we got the deal because they were moving from Scarface and, and Rap-A-Lot to cute fancy. And I got a whole lot of money just because I was right there in place with, with artists who were, they were gangster too now, kind of. They were thuggish, but they didn't curse. <laughs> I mean, so you know, not curse. <laughs> they, 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 were, they were gangsters, but they didn't curse. They knew better that they could use their words, and I didn't have to tell them. So they just felt like they were clever enough to not have to curse. Right. So what, do you, what do you feel about that, though? I mean, as far as artists who don't curse, do you think there's more of a market for cursing?